in back now is nasturtium, which is really delicious, very peppery. That's Berkeley Stats professors Philip Stark and Tom Carlson are on something of a treasure hunt. Their booty? Weeds. Seriously, edible, indeed nutritious weeds. Sprouting forth in unkempt yards across food deserts. That is, any area more than a mile from available fresh produce. Their mantra? If you can't beat them, eat them. This is English um, plantain. Plant their findings, along with those of crowdsourced locals, are logged on the iNaturalist app. And their grand plan is that everyone nearby can find a fantastically nutritious source of free food, sometimes quite literally on their own doorsteps. Uh, people in poor neighborhoods, food deserts, they have iPhones. And uh, what's, what's really exciting about these wild uh, edible foods is in these food deserts, one of the biggest problems is lack of fiber and fresh fruits and vegetables. And so while these foods are not going to address all the nutritional needs of these people, they will supplement what they're doing and would, will be beneficial. Over a hundred servings of fennel. Some people, like Philip and Tom, will always prefer to know exactly where their food came from, <laughs> no matter where that might be.